day doth this house which is built to thy glory, that it may be hallowed by thine abiding presence, and within the hearts of thy faithful people, establish for thyself an everlasting habitation, O Jesus Christ our Lord. Let thy Holy Spirit descend upon this place in the fullness of sevenfold grace to the glory of thy holy name, that whensoever thy holy name is invoked within these walls, the prayers of those who call on thee may be heard by thee, O Lord, merciful and gracious. O holy, blessed and glorious Trinity, who dost give purity, strength, and beauty to that which thou hast created, we most humbly beseech thee to bless, hallow, and sanctify this holy table, and to bless, hallow, and consecrate this whole building with the everlasting fullness of thy sanctifying power, who livest and reignest The lesson is taken from the sixth chapter of the Gospel according to St. Luke, beginning at verse 46. And why call ye me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? Whosoever cometh to me, and heareth my sayings, and doeth them, I will show you to whom he is like. He is like a man which built an house and dig deep, and laid the foundation on a rock. And when the flood arose, the stream beat vehemently against that house, and could not shake it, for it was founded upon a rock. But he that heareth, and doeth not, is like a man without a foundation, built an house upon the earth, against which the stream did beat vehemently, and immediately it fell and the ruin of that house was great. Here ended the lesson. By virtue of our sacred office in the Church of God, we do now declare 
to be consecrate and forever set apart from profane, common, and ordinary uses this house of God under the dedication of St. Clement Danes in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen.